buns in the oven. This week we're doing a survey again and this time we're asking the staff here if they have any tips on how to save money on groceries, like any kind of thing that the strategy or whatever they have. Let's find out what they say and then we'll see if we can come up with more ourselves. All right, ciao. Food bank, that's probably a very good way of saving money. All right, Des, do you have any tricks or tips to how to save money on groceries? Oh, I save the most money when I go in with a really good plan of what I'm gonna eat for the week. So I pick a recipe and I make a list and I go in armed with that list. It's a lot of information before you Yeah, start. yeah. Okay, thanks. Thank you. So, do you have any trick on how to save money on groceries? Um, it's actually something I've always found really challenging. There was a while though when um, finances were really tight for me that I would do couponing and like uh, price matching, um, but that can be really time consuming. So now I just try and see what's on sale and, and buy those things when I can. Okay, thanks. Right, so what are your tricks to save money on groceries? Uh, actually, I look at the sale flyers and uh, determine, like I might go to one or two stores depending on um, if it's good savings and I plan my meals according to what's on sale. So let's say uh, ground beef is on sale, well I might decide that we're going to have shepherd's pie or uh, meatloaf um, or if it's chicken then we will have a meal with chicken. How I save money on my groceries is that I meal plan around what's on sale. So if chicken is on sale, we're eating chicken that week. <laughs> and that's the best way that I've been able to do so to make sure I both have all the meals I need and that I'm not paying $200. Uh, a trick that I have to help save money on groceries is to buy things that I use a lot in bulk. So I like to buy oats. I eat a lot of oatmeal in the morning. So instead of buying prepackaged, ready to go oatmeal, I buy oats in bulk. Good. Yeah. Okay, so I have three kids, so saving money on groceries is important, but it's also very difficult. Um, but something I find that works for us is three days a week we go, we eat like meat free, and our meals will be like made with beans or lentils, which tends to be a lot cheaper than meat. Yeah, wow, that's good. That's a good thing. Yeah. Anyone? So for saving money, uh, coupons, going through the, uh, the newspaper to get the best sales and so you go to the different stores we, uh, we live in Elmer but the stores are close by so I can either go to the Loblaws or the IGA and that way we get the best pricing and if you prepare ahead of time you can save like uh, quite a few quite a few dollars we save at least twenty dollars just using the um, the sales and coupons so that's a lot of money a week good thank you so we've had different ideas from different staff um, one of them said she planned and, and menu planning and recipe planning and then she goes shopping with this kind of organized and a lot of people say they look at the sales then they menu plan and then they go shopping or you know something so the, the, either one was helpful for them like one you would just stick to what you wanted you're not gonna buy extras and the other whatever was on sale, what was part of your menu for that week. So I think those both strategies can. <laughs> With that one specifically, I've gone grocery shopping specifically and um, something that's not necessarily advertised as a sale. So you go to the, hi, you go to the meat <laughs> section and it just happens that some meat is expiring like very shortly. Uh, so then I'm like, okay, well that's tonight's meal because for whatever reason that is dirt cheap today. Yeah, and I, I do that and I'll buy a lot and I, I freeze those meats because yes. I don't want to keep in my fridge long. Like you say, it's like cooked tonight. Yeah. I'll freeze, but I keep my freezer organized and I know how much I have and like for how many meals. And then when it's almost done, then start up again. Because mm. if your freezer is not organized, then it's going to be wasted. Six months on the, the road, it's too late at that time. Yeah. So other plan was like talk about coupons and price matching. Do you do that, Kia? 
Do you do some? I do. I have the I have the Flip app on my phone. So F L I P P, um, and it's a blue app that you can download, and it's free. So that one you can use. I use it to price match. Okay. I'm not sure if there's coupons on it. it might right. Be. It's a similar idea though. Mm-hmm. And also with that, a point card is um, could be really useful. I have no depending on how much you you um, you have to load up the point and then you have to use the card. And if you spend a lot of money, you save a lot of money. But uh, if you that could be also one thing. You either you gain points or you get some. What's that? Like you can buy other stuff too. Yeah, sometimes you can get sales. Sometimes like some there's things. with the card. Sometimes you actually get membership sales. Right. Right. So just having the card, you get a cheaper price than the other people. Um, right. That's right. And then the um, other thing, well, a big thing nobody mentioned, but you guys know, is food bank. And bulk. We talked about bulk. Um, sharing extras with friends and family. That can also go for a food bank. Because sometimes at food bank, people get a big thing. And they're like, uh, you're intimidated yeah. by getting it because it's too much. I was going to say, those three things go together. Yeah. But if you end up like, okay, I'm going to grab that big thing of oats, we'll share it. And you get that big thing of, you know, crackers and we'll share it, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes club packs of meat also, I used to do that with a friend. So like you buy the giant club pack and you're freezing it, obviously, um, and you get the giant club pack of ground beef and it's cheaper that way. It's yeah. And that's one thing I do with my meat when I get it. I... I split it in meal portions, like how much I, I eat or I we consume in one meal. So that's already done. Yeah, that's not a price saving tip, but that's an amazing tip is being proactive to portion out your stuff before you freeze it. Because once you dethaw that giant thing of meat, if you're not using that in one meal, you're wasting half of it. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good idea. Good tip. Um, what else? Okay, well, we'll talk about... Um, Gardening, sometimes people use gardening as saving money, but if you're just starting, you're probably gonna be investing more than what you're gonna get. But the trick is to find a gardener who has extras and excess and get some for them, like zucchinis, tomatoes, there's always like an aunt and a, a neighbor. Yeah, we could give you that. Produce in season is a big thing. Stop buying strawberries in the middle of the winter. They're, first of all, they're not good. <laughs> and then, but if you want some, just buy them frozen. Um, and don't buy, yeah. you don't have to buy Dole strawberries. The no right. name President's Choice strawberries are the same thing. And then we had that meatless day that one of the staff said that was good, like a different type of menu, one that's cheaper. The, you did the meatless day. So that was what I was trying to work out when we started this in my brain. Okay. So whether it was cheaper to buy canned beans or to buy dried beans. Okay. That was my big thing because I remember dried beans being like a buck fifty, and you get a lot. It's just the work it, you have to put it, into it. That's right? it. The time of soaking and cooking because you're yeah. spending money and time there. And I was um, trying to math it out. But a lot brain. of times you can get the beans from food bank. That's yeah. something we always have. That's a good thing. So if, if you don't, but if you don't happen to hit food bank that day, I actually looked on my Flip app to see what the sales were on beans this week and like there's one store that has them for 87 cents and then another one that has three for 3.99 okay. for a can of like a foot four and a fifty okay so this one empty stomach a lot of people say don't go shopping on an empty stomach because you end up buying too much is that your experience i will definitely buy things that i don't think that I would buy if I was satiated because I'm hungry and I'm like, oh, I'll eat that in the car. So I'll buy like donuts or something like that. I think that's my experience, but you said you had a different one. Yeah. Cause for me, if I'm not hungry, like if it's for work, it's something, but if it's for myself or home and I'm not hungry, I don't buy anything. I just walk in the aisle up and down looking at things. I'm not inspired. I'm like, no, no, it's like I have, I can't be like starving, yeah. but I have to have a little bit because that kind of makes me more like looking a little bit like if you're a hunter gatherer and you're a little bit hungry, your, your senses are more keen. Mm -hmm. You look at the prey animal or the berries or something. 
I don't know if it's... <laughs> See, mine is the opposite, but my hunter is just like, okay, I am now hunting whatever is in front of me, and I'm not as discerning with the prices, I'm more just like, okay, that okay. is now my craving, I am... That's I'm true, like, I'm not saying that I would look for saving money, like, I'm not gonna look so much at the price. I would adhere know. to the list, right? That's, yeah. that's the thing, is I might go off of the, my pre-planned list, because I'm hungry, yeah. and I'm like, oh, well, I want that now. I rarely make a list, to be honest, and that's it. And see, I do my, on my flip app, there's like, you do the, like you coupon flip and you make your list on the app and I have to, or else I'll forget something. I'll be honest. Yeah. I will forget something if the I don't make the list. one thing I forget is the cat food. I forget the cat litter. Oh. So, not food, but like worse, smellier. <laughs> <laughs> well, summertime, cat uses outside. Okay, I'm lucky that way. Save money on, that's how to save money on yeah. groceries. Outdoor pets. <laughs> <laughs> One of our, our post-it notes, anything like that. I'm trying to think of sites and stuff. So like mine is Flip. There's also save.ca for coupons. Um, manufacturers websites usually have coupons. So like dole.ca or, or um, I'm trying to think of another brand name or whatever. Um, but we had said like, you're probably still gonna save more money just by buying a no name. And there's really not that much difference, right? In right. the ingredients whatsoever. And another thing you mentioned like, most of our clients don't have cars, so they can't go shopping from one star store to the other. I think maybe you'd like shopping with a person who does have a car, maybe a relative or a friend. And if you're like going together again there, you could buy more bulk and sharing. So maybe other opportunities when you're buying two families together, mm -hmm. save money. Yeah. So we probably haven't s solved the issue of grocery spending and no. how, but I hope there's a few tricks that you guys can use. Share if there's more, something like really obvious that we forgot, please point it out to us. Yeah, any ideas, put them in the comments below or, or post them on our Facebook. Uh, so then you can help the community as well. Cause if you say your ideas out loud, everybody's learning from the comments, right? Yeah. So we don't know what We should make that when this video comes out and you know, like when people can make comment, we should start that list. like. From there we should say we should have a post-it note wall of how to save money on groceries yeah i like that i'd be good with that all right yeah <laughs> have a good week <laughs>